All right, guys, we're looking at the build right here, Way of a Thousand Supers. Now, the other day we did a build called Way of a Thousand Reloads. Feel free to check that one out. That's a great build for anyone that's just a solo player trying to do some great DPS in PvE. This build, however, can be utilized in both PvE and in PvP. And yes, we are doing everything we can in today's build to get our supers back as fast as possible. So the exotics of choice. First up, the exotic gauntlet shard of Galanor. It grants you the exotic perk sharp edges, hits and kills with blade barrage for return super energy after the super ends. A fantastic exotic with way of a thousand cuts. And the range that you get your super energy back is, is kind of RNG-ish. At times you get almost the full super back and at others you get only 20-30% of your super back. Of course, getting more hits with your blade barrage definitely influences the super energy to come back greater. I am also rocking the armor perk Dynamo. This is a perk that can be found on your leg armor pieces and it's probably utilized the best here with our hunter classes because the class ability is much faster but essentially reduces your super cooldown when using your class ability and as you can see the gray there will actually jump up for you when you use your class ability now the final thing i'm going to mention the perk here on way of a thousand cuts the burning edge while enemies burn your dodge ability recharges faster okay now that we've gotten this out of the way i had already had in my head a build idea for this specifically with six coyote gambler's dodge and of course burning edge there in throwing knives for days this is when the build gets really juicy though and why i'm using something like shards of galanor prometheus lens gives you the intrinsic perk prismatic inferno it fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. This is a really big deal because that perk allows Prometheus Lens to count as burn damage, giving you infinite dodges for days. Okay, now that we've gotten that out the way, do you see what we're going for, boys? Having something like Prometheus Lens, constantly dodging, having Dynamo activating, giving you a little bit of super energy there. Finally, getting your super, getting your super off, Having shards of Galanor giving you your super back, topping your super off by simply dodging. And hey, that's not to count out Prometheus Lens because it does give you the trait Flame Refraction. Kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to magazines from reserves. So it's not like it's a bad PvE weapon. The only thing wrong with it even in PvP is that the ammo economy for trace rifles are terrible. But for PvE, it's perfect. And in this gameplay here, I haven't even quite perfected it. But if you're constantly dodging after every little engagement, you'll have your super back in no time. What's more is as fast as I'm getting my super back, I don't have a single super mod on. Boys, this is me all on my own. Can you imagine this build with five super mods. By the way, feel free to check out Drewski's video on all ability cooldowns. But as you can see here from his graph, the cooldown for your super with five mods is three minutes and 34 seconds from its original five minute mark. So again, don't kill me. I'm just the messenger here, boys. The potential optimal loadout here is five super mods, giving you a total reduction there of 86 seconds. Shards of Galanor, Dynamo, and Prometheus Lens to also give you more of your super back when you dodge. So boys, yes, this is most definitely, uh, if, if you're trying to just get your super back constantly, this is it. This is the loadout. Is it going to be nerfed? Well, before even discovering this loadout, I had already seen on Twitter a lot of people stating it needs to be nerfed or shards of Galanor in general needs to be nerfed alongside Ursa Furiosa. I will withhold my opinions today, as today I'm just presenting a build. I would love to know your thoughts on the matter though, because yes, this is powerful. In something like Gambit, you're pretty much a one-man army, continuously getting your knife back from Gambler's Dodge, throwing your knife, refreshing your dodge, Prometheus Lin refreshing your dodge, shards of Galanor giving you back your super. This is the level of synergy that I like. This is what Astrocross likes, boys. And to me, this is still not even the best build. I would be tempted to say that six coyote is still better than this because you get double dodge. So being able to double dodge constantly, getting your super back, and then when you finally do have your super, swap to your other exotic there, Shards of Galanor. And the pain train has now taken off. Of course, you gotta own both of those exotics to actually take advantage of them, but it's a wonderful build here if you are a hunter main, guys. So shout out to my YouTube comment sections for even recommending this build. It was a lot of fun. Even in certain game times when I only had like a minute left in the game, and I didn't think I was going to get my super back in time, somehow I would have it. And it was due to the synergy that this build presents. So fellas, use it. Because there's a good chance it may get nerfed. Guys, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.
Stop.